Hey everybody, I'm Jeff Baker and welcome to This Is What I'm Talking About. Today I'm talking about a chili cheese pork dog. I know you might be thinking, what the heck is he talking about? Let me explain it to you. I'm doing a different variation on a chili cheese dog. Instead of using hot dogs, I'm using actually a thick country style pork rib. Now before I thawed that out this morning, I originally thought it was boneless, but I found out that the bone was in, so instead of having just two nice chunks that I was going to open up, what I did was just cut some meat off the bone, sauteed it in a little olive oil, ready to go. I'm going to do a few different things that are probably different than what you realize or what you've ever had on a chili dog before. I like to serve mine open face, and I also like to serve it on garlic bread. And I just made a loaf of bread, a loaf of sourdough, from my, out of my machine. So we're going to cut that up. And you can tell my bread machine makes a cylindrical loaf. And we're going to make some garlic bread out of that. What we're going to do is butter both sides. And put a little bit of garlic powder on it. Heat it up for a little bit. I don't know about you, but I love garlic bread. Yeah, that pork, I thought for sure that was boneless, but didn't realize it until I went to thaw it out this morning that that sucker was bone in. So, go on the fly. Okay, just sprinkle a little bit of garlic powder here. On both sides. Put that on the also got some chili heating up here on the back burner. Okay, once we get this garlic bread going here. Probably not a real good idea to put powder down on that. Uh, what do you think? I have to clean it up a little bit here. Let's say I'm going to do a few things that are probably a little bit different than what you what you're normally accustomed to on a chili dog. Chili cheese dog. Like I said, I do open face. The reason I do that is because I can throw more stuff on there. Don't have to worry about keeping it in a bun. You don't have to worry about it being sloppy either. You eat it with a knife and fork. And had I thought about it, I probably would have had my garlic bread done. This is the pork I was telling you about. It's just uh, country style thick ribs. Keep the chili heated up here. I use uh, I use a no bean chili because I don't like beans. But you can certainly use the other type if you'd like. Tell you what, we're gonna just turn this thing. It's not going to be as ready as I'm wanting, but oh well. We're going with what we got. Due to the time limits. So we're actually going with what we got right here. That'll work plenty good. I like the butter soaked bread anyway. This is thick bread. So, what we're going to do, we're going to start with the pork. Instead of the hot dogs, normally I would take a hot dog and slit, uh, actually take two hot dogs and slit them and put them wide on the, on the sandwich. Instead of doing that, we're using good old pork. All right, on top of that, we're going to add a little bit of Parmesan cheese.
From there, we're going to add a little bit of chopped lettuce. That may be another thing you're not used to seeing on uh, Chili Dog. I know I wasn't <clears throat> when I first saw that. Another thing I had never seen going with chili is relish. But my wife actually turned me on to this years ago, and I've never had a Chili Dog without it since. I know it seems like kind of a weird combination, but it really is good. Okay, on top of that, we are going to go with some beanless chili. You may think it looks kind of weird or whatever, but I'm telling you what. Once you eat it like this, like I said, you can obviously do it with hot dogs too, because that's what I usually use. Just using the pork, something different. And on top of that, we're going to go with some chopped onions. Love chopped onions. And on top of that, we're going with some mozzarella cheese. And you're thinking, oh, that's nice, but your mozzarella cheese isn't going to melt. It's going to be kind of funky. Well, boom. all we're going to do to that, throw it in the microwave for about 30 seconds. Let our mozzarella cheese melt. And we're basically going to have a chili cheese pork dog. You guys are going to want to tune in next week. I got, got a really good one coming up for it. Got a couple different ladies that uh, came up with some re recipe ideas for stuffed tomatoes. I've never had them and I've never made them, so tuning in this could be very interesting. One of my neighbors that lives here in the park with me, Donna Hamilton, right here in Chula Vista, California. And also one of my Facebook friends, Judy Guffey, who lives in uh, Huntsville, Missouri. They've got two completely different ideas on stuffed tomatoes. So I'm going to be doing them both next week, and uh, we'll, we'll see together how they're coming out. To me, baked tomatoes would just seem like they're just going to shrivel up to nothing, but they swear it doesn't, so we'll see. If it doesn't work, we can blame them. Alrighty. Let me try to clean this up just a tad. Well, that made a freaking mess. But you know what? That's okay because it's going to taste good. My version of a chili cheese pork dog. Call it what you want. Call it what you want, but I'm going to be eating. Dig into this baby here and get me a little piece of pork. Mm -mm -mm -mm. All that gooey cheese. Oh, yeah, buddy. Tell me, folks, try this out. You're going to love this. Mm. Tell you what, I'm getting ready to eat me a chili pork dog. That's what I'm talking about.